Hi, it's me again. Show sure follow up. This is a little tool that you can use on ATX and I think some PCIe or something connectors as well. I don't know. I'll, I'll stick it up there, the actual other type of connector it'll work with. There'll be a link down below. I just got these off eBay, so I'm not sponsored or anything like that. It's just where I bought them from. You can see it's a bit of heat shrink on there for a grip and it's probably got like a 3D printed you know, grip underneath. Like, in fact it could be metal, it could be one solid piece of metal but it's really tough metal but these points here are really fine it wouldn't take much of a press in the wrong way to break this probably but it does feel like hardened steel uh, anyway, this even this seems impossible to use uh, and it's all about the, the way the wire is crimped underneath the notch in the middle so let me just work this out now so what I've done is I've cut off or removed not cut off pulled out the pins here that I don't need yeah this is just an extension of board there's like a pound or something and I thought oh that'll do because I can just have a short you know adapter I'm going to make another one of these for 1000 I got one in my drawer so let's get rid of the yellow so the second one along you get them side on in the middle of the connector yeah hang on it's not that easy it goes up to go around the pins so as you push it in see that it's in, so it's in the middle, yeah, there's like a little line, if you look at the line, there's a little line in the middle, we're in the middle of the connection there, second one along, and you push like that, then experiment with the, the wire, pull the wire, push the wire, you see the tool moving, so as you push the wire towards the tool, push it into the tool, there's like a little click, yeah, very light as you know it's pressing against the two you've got the two spade you know the two angle bits like that and this tool is coming in and it's pushing them like that yeah but this is the difficult bit now it's like holding it and in fact the second phase I've learned with this is to go up and down a little bit side to side a little bit like that then press into it and then pull you're going to pull pretty hard as you'll see there you go, incredibly hard in fact that's where if you're not careful with the pressure on this you could bend it and if I just inspect the things here yeah, one of them folded the one up here folded out and this is the thing so I would say I've had a 75% success rate pulling these out where you know 75% of them haven't bent 25% of them have and that was one that I had so I think I didn't give it enough time with the up and down bit, so I'll show you the next one. I'm not even sure what I cut myself on there. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. Anyway, that one's out. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, and that one folded up as well. Right, again, learning process. If these get bent together, you just bend them out slightly. It is hard and steel, though because I could tell you can bend it a fair bit and it's like it takes a lot of strength to do it uh, anyway the the thing I have learned from doing all of these as well as cutting myself once on it is get it in yeah do what I did before so I push the wire out you can see it, the tool went out push the tool in push the wire push the tool push the wire push the tool push the wire press the both together it went a bit further push the wire walk bolt left right up down a little bit push the wire push the tool and then push the, pull the wire that's it they come out really easy and the wings are fine so yeah the first few i demonstrated there i managed to mangle them but look, i've managed to separate these now so it's this bit i need i've got blood on there i need to clean that off uh, and it's got all the wires i need i just need to remove these crimp things here and stick the other connector on some of these wires are going to be paired up i think they were like you can see it's like two yellows here and that's a, an interesting point as well. You get more current if you're making an adapter. We covered this in the 4000 part 4, as you'll see. But if you're having voltage drop across something like this, consider using multiple wires going across to the other side. So, for example, you know, we've got two 5 volts here. Yeah? If you didn't have two separate 5 volt connections on the motherboard, pair them together here and join those into one pin on the other side. And the same with the 12 volts or whatever that is. Uh, and then you get a slightly less voltage drop. And of course, two pins here going to two pins somewhere else is even better because you've got two connectors as well. It's not just about two wires from one side, it's about having two connectors on the other side. You know, you're just doubling the chance of getting a higher 
level. One final tip I'll give you here. If you do bend one of those flaps and it goes back on itself, try and straighten it out gradually, gradually. And if it just feels like it's going to be a bit weak, just get a tiny bit of flux on it and get some solder on that actual flap. Yeah, you don't want too much, otherwise you may you know, cause problems with it going in and out. But just adding a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit on it, if it's fatigued like this one was, the, the white one, most of these came out without issue. There we go. That is just going to assist strengthening that. They could be used one more time. But I'll be honest, when you folded these up more than once, they break and you'll need another, you know, another pin. Anyway, I thought you'd find that useful. Catch you in the next video.